Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond Stonders. Cockbridge to Tom and Tool, a well-known phrase in the winter, news bulletins up here in Scotland. This is one of the first roads to close come winter. That's the hill it goes up there. And that's the watchers. And the road goes past that modern standing stone sculpture. We're at Kogar Castle. The first stop on our late Maybank holiday weekend trip and our only planned stop on this trip. But before we talk about Corgarth Castle, I'm going to have to tell you a little bit about another castle, which uh, has some important links to this site. The castle we have to talk about first is Ochindun Castle and during its time owned by Sir Adam Gordon his claim to fame was the murder of all the occupants of Corgarth Castle during a feud in 1571. Ochindun Castle was burned by William Mackintosh in revenge and by 1725 lay in a ruin. But the history of Corgarth Castle goes on and we'll talk about that a little later. We arrived in beautiful weather. There was not many people about and we were able to get straight out and shoot. Not only that, but the drone flying was done in the evening, not in the morning. It's a lovely spot, we'll no about be back again and I hope you enjoy the footage we have to show. That includes the park up, which is uh, small but can take a few, but is likely to be busy. Busy like the sheep in this time-lapse.
let us try to unravel the two very different tales of this medieval tower house. Originally a noble residence, Kurgarth became an army base for hunting down Jacobite sympathisers and later whisky smugglers. Kurgarth Castle is located west of the village of Kurgarth in Aberdeenshire, northeast Scotland. It stands by the Lech Road which crosses the pass between Strathdon and Tom and Tal, and indeed is heard by many every winter as the road between Cockbridge and Tom and Tal is often closed. The castle was built around 1530 and leased to the Forbes of Towie. In 1571 it was burned by their enemy Adam Gordon of Ochindoon, resulting in the deaths of Margaret Campbell, Lady Forbes, her children and numerous others, 26 others in total. In May 1607 the castle was captured from Alexander, 4th Lord of Elphinstone by Alexander Forbes of Towie and his companions including a piper called George McRobbie. They used hammers and battering rams to break down the gate then fortified the house with a garrison of Highland thieves and limmers. In 1626 it was acquired by the Earl of Mar. In 1645 it was used as assembly point by the troops of the Marquis of Montrose and it was burnt again in 1689 and 1716 by Jacobite supporters. It was resettled by the Forbes family in 1745 but had to be forfeited due to their Jacobite leanings. Then in 1746 it was used by the British government, rebuilt and extended as a barracks. A detachment of troops, redcoats, were stationed there on the military road from Braemar Castle to Fort George. Military use continued as late as 1831, after which the tower was used to suppress illegal whisky distilling in the surrounding area. Today the site is still complete with its 18th century star-shaped fortification. The West Pavilion houses bakehouses and brew houses and can be visited when the castle is open. Unfortunately when we were there it was still closed due to Covid.
the first stop on our late Maybank holiday trip, Kulgar Castle. through the window slits into the inside of the castle grounds which is currently closed Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.